Tonight we're learning more details about a shoplifting turned officer involved shooting. It happened around 530 last night on Reservoir Avenue near the Providence Cranston line. Jake Holter joins us live in studio with the latest Jake. Yes, Shannon and Kim Cranston Police Chief Michael Winquist tells us the car used in the crime was recovered earlier today on Niantic Avenue in Providence. The car is registered in Massachusetts and the suspects are still at large. A Cranston theft escalating quickly Sunday evening. Police say the call came in for a shoplifting at Garden City Shopping Center shortly after 5 p.m. 12 News has learned that it was Lululemon that was targeted in the theft and a rack of clothing was stolen. Minutes later, a Cranston police officer saw the suspected shoplifter's car at a red light and approached it on foot. According to police, there was a man driving and a woman in the passenger seat. The driver refused to get out and police say the passenger yelled, quote, go, 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 and they took off, running over the officer's foot. That officer then fired a single round. She was taken to Kent Hospital to be treated for her injuries and has since been released. Cranston Police Chief Colonel Michael Winquist tells us the officer is on leave due to her injuries, but quote, since it appears the suspect was not seriously injured or killed, there is no requirement to place the officer on administrative leave. Now, because this was an officer involved shooting, the Attorney General's office says they are investigating the incident alongside state police and the Cranston and Providence Police Departments per state protocol. We've put in a request with Cranston Police for records related to this incident. Until then, Winquist tells me they can't release any more information since it is a very active criminal and administrative investigation. We also asked police if body worn camera footage could be made available to us, but they said it was too early in the investigation to consider releasing it. Live in studio, Jake Holter, 12 News.